If it's done in the right spirit, Halloween trick-or-treating is generally a bit of harmless fun. But increasingly, it's turning into unwanted harassment, which probably explains why posters like these are starting to appear in people's windows. Did you ever go trick or treating? When I was young, yes, I was. And uh, but I think the environment's changed now. You can't really do it because they'll throw you away from the door. Yes. Did you ever go trick and treating? I did. I used to put my hand up the chimney and get a lump of soot rubbing my face and join the rest of them. <laughs> Didn't have to dress up because the clothes were weird and were old enough. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> trick or treat does have a bit of a bad reputation nowadays, and that's why residents in this part of Greater Manchester are determined to do something about it. They are organising a community event on Halloween night in their local park. Do you think it will cut down the amount of trick-and-treating? It will. It'll uh, probably give Halloween a better name as well because as it does cut that down, they'll look forward to it the next year and they'll have even better events. Meanwhile, the Church of England is trying to change forever the way in which Halloween is celebrated in this country. Today, they were giving out apples with a sticker on, encouraging people to make a Halloween treat donation to charity. This is part of the campaign I've been running to encourage people to lighten up a bit about Halloween because it's got so scary and horrific. Many of the things up until this year sold in supermarkets emphasise the nasty, the horrible, the bloodthirsty. The police are warning trick-or-treaters, make sure that your behaviour doesn't get too devilish or you could be facing an £80 on-the-spot fine. You have been warned. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.